Okay, let's get the ball rolling. If you clicked on the link to Bootlosophy and you're looking at this, you'll be thinking, those are not boots, and you'd be right. G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. Uh, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live on here in Perth, uh, the Wajak people. Now, this is the Bootlosophy channel, but I do get so many questions on DM and uh, in comments on my videos about what kind of jeans I'm wearing. And I have to admit, I'm also quite, uh, I'm not a jeans guy, let's just get that straight. But I am interested by the discussions on Instagram about made in USA jeans and salvage and so on. Uh, and I thought I'd do a video that kind of um, put those two uh, queries and comments and interests together. Uh, and this video is about jeans that are made in Australia versus jeans that are made in the USA. And uh, coming to it from an angle that's not about a, a jean guy, um, just to see uh, what those two areas come in. Now, the, for those of you who watch my uh, videos a lot, you will realize that one of my common beliefs is that quality is not about where a product is made. I always say quality is not geography. It's about processes, controls, um, inspections, and the way you establish a vision that everybody lives to. So I'm not looking at made in USA or made in Australia from a patriotic point of view, although even I must admit as a global economist, that I do miss the fact that Australia has lost out on some of its industries. We once had a really good automobile industry, a car industry. Uh, last few birds in this Indian summer calling out, so you probably hear them. Uh, where was I? Oh yes. Um, and we've lost things like um, food production. I mean, I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember Nabisco, biscuit company, doesn't exist anymore. And certainly on the banks of the Yarra in Melbourne, uh, there used to be a thriving garment industry. Most of that now has gone to Vietnam. So it's not about being patriotic. It's about missing out on skills and experience uh, and really jobs um, that has lost out in the global economy. But if you put that to one side, we're going to start taking a look at these jeans. I have two pairs here from RM Williams. Now, RM Williams didn't always make their garments in Australia. Their boots were always made in Australia. About three years ago, uh, RM Williams was bought over by a mining magnate here in Western Australia, in fact, uh, Andrew Forrest. And Andrew Forrest has a checkered history on the stock market. There are companies that he started and, uh, shall we say, let go of in circumstances that maybe people weren't very happy about. He's also got a checkered history in terms of his mining practices on uh, virgin grounds and indigenous lands. Uh, but leaving that to one side, I think you have to give him credit that having bought over RM Williams, one of his things was to bring manufacturing back into Australia. So you find that a lot of your garments are actually turning around, they're coming back into being made in the South Australian factories. So you've got to probably give him a tick for that. The other um, two pairs of jeans I'll be looking at came from Flint and Tinder, which is Huckbury's uh, house brand. Now, I have to say these were given to me by Huckbury some time ago to do a review to see if I wanted to do a review. And being a boot guy, I kind of didn't want to do a review. So I have worn them for a, for a bit. But having now thought up of this video of um, made in USA versus made in Australia, I thought I'd resurrect them. And in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do a review. I'll, I'll leave it up to you to decide, but I will go through the features of uh, these two piles of jeans. So let's go. So the first one I'm going to take a, uh, take a look at is the RM Williams Ramco jeans, they're called, R-A-M-C-O, in a blue wash. Uh, it's actually an extremely dark wash. In, in this sort of sunlight, you're seeing it as um, a reflective light blue, but it is definitely quite a dark blue. And I'll, I'll see if I can move it into the shade here. Oh, I think the camera is readjusting itself, but it is a very dark blue. Um, very interesting thing about this, 
uh, it is a cotton wool blend. I've never heard of wool being used in jeans before, made in Australia. You have to be a bit careful because they have Ramco jeans that are not made in Australia. Uh, so you have to look for the label here or in the tag because sometimes they're made in Australia, but uh, it's only shown in the tag. I was talking about the cotton wool blend. I've never heard of jeans being made of wool before, but this has 82% cotton, 17% uh, wool, and 2% uh, elastane. So there is a little bit of stretch in it, as you can see. The wool gives it a very interesting texture. Uh, it, it's like a well-worn in jumper. It is clearly a wool in the sense that there is some scratchiness in it, um, but it, it's not uncomfortable. It just, it's just a strange feel from the usual cotton and cotton elastane kind of uh, material. Let's just run through this. So this is what RM Williams calls regular fit straight leg. And it actually is a very straight leg. If you look at that, it's, it, there's almost no taper between the thigh down to uh, the leg opening. Uh, this easily fits in the shaft of a cowboy boot. Now, let me just compare that to the Loxton jean. And this one is in taper. And you can see this, this tapers. All right, let me get rid of this. So there's a contrast. There's that much tapering down to the leg opening. So the Ramco is quite a wide fitting leg. Not something I'm, I've been used to for decades. In fact, I put this on and my wife said, hmm, are you wearing your 90s jeans? <laughs> uh, going through um, a few other, uh, it is a very generous 32, by the way. This is a um, 32 inch waist. My waist is in reality somewhere between 33 and 34. Uh, and, you know, like most pairs of jeans, all four are in, to my mind, vanity, um, vanity size because they're all 32. And if I were totally brutally honest, I'd say I'm a, I'm a 33 bordering on 34. But this is a very generous 32. Let's just run through some of the uh, features. RMW branded button, RMW denim, that says. Uh, branded rivets, RMW. And of course, the Longhorn uh, brand that's been embroidered into this uh, uh, ticket pocket or whatever you call it. Uh, leather RM Williams um, belt loop, would you say? Because the belt does certainly does fit in there. Uh, very plain R.M. Williams, uh, established 1932 Australia is what it says. Can you see that? Okay. Made of leather. Two belt loops at the back, which I like. Um, many jeans come with only one belt loop, and often it does get sort of ruffled up if, if it, you're not the perfect size. Back pockets have that kind of long horn stitch, uh, and, you know, anybody walking away from, from you... You look at that, you know it's a pair of R.M. Williams's. The quality, I think, is actually pretty good. Um, I, I don't see sort of any weird stitching going on. Everything seems very parallel. Um, you know, the pockets and rivets are all well made. Uh, a, a, a surprising texture to it because of that wool, I think. Oh, and it does have a reasonably long zip. This sits quite high on the waist. Um, a couple of inches down from the belly button. Uh, so this long zip is actually, I find, quite useful because I hate jeans with very short zips that sit on your, on your hip and with very short zips because what happens when you go into a public urinal, uh, you look a bit weird trying to, trying to fish into yourself to try and pull up the tackle so that you can do your business. Whereas this one, it's clearly a fly. Good, you can get away with it. <laughs> I'm now going to move on uh, to the R.M. Williams Loxton jean. This one's not in denim, obviously. Uh, it's in a cotton twill. Uh, the colour is called buckskin. So quite a sort of western uh, colour. The cotton twill has a really nice texture to it, very twill texture. 
it's not the thickest twill, it's not the heaviest twill, but it's it feels sturdy enough. It's 98% cotton and 2% elastane, so there is a little bit of stretch as well, just to give you a little bit of comfort. Now this is called a regular fit tapered leg. Um, and I suspect what regular fit means is it's, it's regular in the butt. So you're not, you know, really tight around the, around your gluteus maximus. Um, this also has a reasonably deep zip for where it sits. That's very important to me. <laughs> um, and it is a tapered leg. So it tapers down um, quite a bit down to there. In fact, the taper is strong enough that my calves actually feel quite snug in these, in these jeans. They're not loose at all. Uh, no way can you fit a pair of cowboy boots into that. Features, um, brass zips as all the others. A slightly different logo on the button. Uh, with the Longhorn from R.M. Williams. Uh, branded rivets again. Again, the Longhorn stitching in a non-contrast stitch. So I quite like that. And of course, the R.M. Williams leather patch at the back. And the Longhorn design stitch in the pocket. I find this to my mind, more comfortable than the straight leg uh, Ramco jeans that I showed you earlier. And I think that's mainly because for decades I've worn slimmer fitting jeans. So, uh, not taper, slim. Um, so this is much more what I'm used to wearing. So when you put them on, the feel around the, the uh, thighs and the calves is a lot more similar to what I want. Material. Really good, I think. Cotton twill, 2% elastane. Uh, the waist is 32 inches, and in this case, it's a good fit. It's not as generous as the uh, Ramco, uh, and, a, and a pretty good fit. Uh, just uh, uh, over the hip. It sits slightly lower than that one, so your belly button's about 3 inches, I think. Um, very snug at the calves. Uh, the leg opening is much smaller. The texture is smooth and it's not a thick twill, so it doesn't feel hot or uncomfortable. Uh, very nice. Okay, so those are two Made in Australia jeans. The uh, R.M. Williams Loxton and the R.M. Williams Ramco. Let's now move on to Made in the USA. Uh, Flint and Tinder is the Huckbury House brand. Let's start with the, um, what they call the American-made Vidalia Salvage Denim Jean. Uh, this one's in a medium wash and it comes pre-creased and faded. Um, although some of the, <laughs> if you see any stains, it's because I've been wearing these for a while. Um, this one is in a straight fit but very different straight fit from the R.M. Williams. It's nowhere near as wide, and you can see, even though it's called a straight fit, there is definitely a taper down the leg. Uh, you can squeeze a cowboy boot into these, but it is a bit of a squeeze, and uh, it feels really comfortable all the way down the leg. It's selvage, so it shows off a little bit of selvage, and... Um, down on the seams. So if you're of the cuffing variety, which I'm not, you could cuff and show off your selvage. There's a flint and tinder badge and the size fittings and so on. Straight fit, but as we've seen, not really as straight fit as the RM Williams. They do have a, a leather uh, patch at the back, a little bit narrow so the um, belt doesn't quite go it unless it's a skinnier belt and it's just got a plain flint and tinder. No embroidery in the back pockets. The denim is 100% um, uh, cotton. It's sanferized, so there's no real stretch in it. The waist is 31 inches. Did I say earlier that they were all 32? I was wrong. The R.M. Williams's are 32. This one is a generous fit. This one is a really good fit and fits as well as 
the flint and tinder in a 31. Color me confused. The details on the flint and tinder, again, a branded uh, or a logo, would you call it a logo or branding? Branding, I suppose, a branded uh, hardware. Uh, no fancy stitches like on the RM Williams. The cotton material, um, it's sanferized 100% cotton, is quite heavy. It's quite thick. It's a lovely feel to it. I haven't washed these yet, so they, they sort of feel, what shall I call it, crinkly, um, thick, and really feels um, really nice on the leg. So the second one that I'm going to take a look at is another Huckberry. Um, pair of jeans from uh, from Flit and Tinder. This one's called the All American Stretch Denim, and it's in a dark wash. Uh, it has patches of fade along the um, thigh, uh, the, the um, uh, upper leg area, and I like this color. It's a real what I remember of 70s indigo jeans color. And you know, you die to get this sort of fade. Um, chuck it into the washing machine. You uh, rubbed yourself along the road to <laughs> get it all scruffed up and faded. My one complaint, the zip is a little bit shorter. So this is one of those where you embarrass yourselves in front of the urinal. It, this is a slim fit. And again, like the tapered fit from the RM Williams, it is quite slim. There's a hell of a taper down. Uh, it's not a taper, but it might as well be. The calves are also um, fairly snug, and it is a very small leg opening. I guess I should uh, measure them, but oh well, we'll see. Uh, the fabric, it's imported but made in America. Sorry, the fabric is imported, but the jeans are made in America. 95% cotton, 4% polyester, and interestingly, 1% spandex spandex, not elastane. Uh, spandex is what bicyclists wear, I think, or is that, is, um, that slimming thing called spanks made out of um, spandex. 31-inch <laughs> waist, fits perfectly 31-inch. Uh, um, the 31-inch is, is consistent. This, this feels lovely. This feels like, like good old-fashioned jeans that I remember um, from my teens in the in the 70s it, it's not selvage but i'm not a you know i just don't know what selvage uh, is or does or benefits thereof okay so there you go i mean i'm not actually going to say one is better than the other uh what do i like about them i like the fit on the flint and tinders I, as I said, I have a 33 to 34 inch waist and 31 fits me really, really well. Uh, just, not just at the waist, but all the way down the leg. Um, I do like the material of both of these denim, uh, denim cloths. Uh, the comfort factor is really quite nice and, and you know, where it, where it is stretchy on this one is comfortable. Where it's not stretchy on this one, you know, still feels comfortable. The texture is really nice. Um, these two, made in Australia by RM Williams. The Loxton in this cotton twill is also very comfortable. The calves are a little snug, but you know, that's okay, really. Um, quality control seems pretty good. The Ramco by RM Williams, strange wool blend, uh, just a tiny bit feeling like it's not denim, like it's almost scratchy, although it's not. Uh, I do like the little symbols that you get. I do like the little thing on the pockets. Um, the material does not feel as thick as the American ones, um, but they're also a little bit cheaper, I think. I'll put the prices in the description below. Okay, so there you go. There you go. Um, that was a different video. <laughs> I am not a jeans guy, but I thought I'd take a look at the features of jeans made in Australia and made in the USA. Uh, it's not a review. I'm not going to say this one's better than the other and this is fantastic or, or not. I'm just showing you these two um, jeans manufacturers 
and let you make up your own opinion about them. Uh, I hope you like this video, it's a little bit different. Uh, if you do, don't forget to click on like and um, go and have a look at my boot videos and then decide if you want to subscribe and I hope you do because I'm sure you'll enjoy them. And after all, I think jeans get worn with boots, don't they? So it's kind of concomitant with each other. Um, look, click on like, click on subscribe, come back next week, go watch boots and take care of yourselves out there. Uh, until the next time, see you soon.